Okay, now we're going to look at our bar chords. I said that in our cage system we had five chord forms, C, A, G, E, and D. Of those five chord forms, if I'm going to move up and down the neck, my E form and my A form are the most usable. They make up what are known as our bar chords. This would be an E form. It looks like an E chord. It looks like I just took my first finger and took the place of this nut when I play an E chord down here. I can move it all the way up the neck, one fret at a time. Each fret gives me a different chord. There's an E, an F, an F sharp, a G, Remember, this is a G chord, G chord, A flat, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, and so forth. That gives me, knowing one chord form, that gives me 12 new chords that I can play. Yes, you do have to build up some hand strength. You have to be able to get the, this bar to work. A couple little tricks. If you bring Good. If you bring your elbow in, roll back just slightly towards the bone, it'll give you some leverage. It also makes these fingers stand up, makes these fingers longer. And don't worry about every single string ringing. When you go to play, chances are you're not going to be playing all of these. It's not about being able to play all of the strings and them all ringing out. Yes, while you're learning, you do want to go through. Try to get them to all ring. But then let it go. Because when you're actually playing, that will seldom be the case. So during practice, work really hard to get the strings to you know, all ring. But then when you go to play, just play the chord. And if you're beginning or you know, just, just learning, it'll get stronger and stronger as you go. But to push yourself to go on and play is really important, okay? So, in the same way that I have an E, an E minor, and an E seventh, I've also got that same, here's my major version, I've got a minor version. E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, A flat minor, A minor, all the way up the neck. There's 12 more chords. Then we have our dominant seventh. There's our E7. So if my finger takes the place of the nut, there's my F7, F sharp 7, G7, A flat 7, A7, 12 more chords. So by knowing the E, E minor, and E7, realizing that your first finger can take the place of that nut and bring this all the way up and down the neck, that gives you 36 chords like that. Yes, you have to build up hand strength to play them. Yes, you have to memorize and really come to know the names of the notes on your sixth string. But that's 36 chords. Then we have 36 more chords based off of our A chord form. This is an A chord, A minor, A7. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring this chord form up the neck by using our first finger as a bar. A, B flat, B. C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, all the way up. A minor, okay, let's bar it. A minor, B flat minor, B minor, C minor, D flat minor or C sharp minor, D minor, E flat minor, E minor. Then we have A7. B flat 7, B7, seven, C7, seven, D flat 7, D7, seven, all the way up the neck. There's 36 more chords. So by understanding your root 6 and root 5, E form, A form, bar chords, you have 72 chords like that. By just utilizing what you've learned from your open chords, your E and your A's, moving it up and down the neck, and learning the names of the notes on your fifth and sixth strings. It's a really great system to learn a lot of chords on the neck of your guitar and have the freedom to play.